All right, so Fergus, we're here at the launch for the new Volkswagen Polo. Learning to drive, everyone has some horror stories. Tell us about your experiences when you were first learning how to drive. Yeah, my first couple of experiences would have been down in Kildare by the Curra Plains with my old man. So he like a few um, few arguments, you know, <laughs> the, the, the usual. But uh, mainly it was it was uh, not too nerve wracking because there's a lot of open space and everything down there. So um, by the time I got into the uh, into the local town, it was uh, I was just about able to, to to get going at the lights and you know park it up. So um, yeah, first car was a '99 Polo, um, and the first time I took it out, I had a few horror moments, uh, conking out at traffic lights and getting the horn beat behind me. But um, uh, I bumped it up, bumped it up a, a good few times, and it was passed on from generation to generation. Both my brothers are driving it, and uh, it's been through the wars at this stage. I showed myself and dad came to blows many times over I remember the first day like after say he asked me to go driving down straight or whatever and I like, literally I, 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 I conked out literally and like literally and I think it was someone that noticed him like I was in the car and someone that he knew noticed like and I think he was highly embarrassed so like literally he, he threatened to never kind of teach me again or whatever but um, and then um, I think Someone give him a bit of advice saying, look, you're probably not the best person to kind of <laughs> teach an oak to drive, get someone else to teach him with like kind of uh, no connection whatsoever. So literally, I got a driving instructor to teach me, so. And uh, and then when you finally came to the day of the big test, how was it? Was it nerve wracking? Uh, I was, a few little nerves now, a few little nerves, but I was confident enough. Um, got through it and got it on the first time. Thanks be to God, so um, can't complain. I uh, failed my first one. Um, second one was a bit of a disaster because uh, when I, the morning of the test, I got a punctured tire. So I had to bring it to the garage, get that fixed. And then um, well, eventually when I got to the driving test center, I'd left dirty rugby gear on the uh, passenger seat. And the uh, instructor wasn't too happy when he had to sit on a, a wet, smelly seat. So uh, I failed that one again and then got a third time. Uh, I did, thankfully, with passing colours. Um, uh, like, I, I literally practised for about, I, I, I've taken driving lessons for about a year and a half, like, so literally, like, people, people, when they get uh, these is, when they find out that their driving test is up in six weeks, they literally just, six weeks to kind of get, get learning, the driving lessons, but um, I got driving lessons for about a year and a half, and literally, I, like I couldn't have been as prepared as I was, and to be honest, I th I think I play and sail the driving test or whatever. So um, um, and it was it, it was kind of like the leave, leave. It was like it was like doing the leave in certain ways. A huge relief, like kind of, cause um, it gets a bit embarrassing when you have the L plates up like for a year and a half, two years, and they're saying, hey, what's the go there? Uh, you're gonna progress on or kind of, there's kind of like a stigma attached to having an L plate, kind of. So it was great to get that out of the way and kind of. Sure, it's been, it's been going good since. Okay, obviously it's not always plain sailing when you first get behind the wheel. Have you any horror stories to share with us? Um, I had to avoid a sheep one day. Um, <laughs> going back to my my family home in Kildare, just driving through the Curra, and a sheep shot out as they do, kind of mindlessly in front of the car, and I managed to avoid it up onto the grass. But yeah, life flashed before my eyes for those couple of seconds, I suppose you could say. Uh, and I believe you had an incident uh, during your uh, your driving test. Yeah, a bit of a bit of a dodgy moment at one stage. I shot out at the lights and um, thought I'd get in front of a truck, but he he um, was going a bit faster than I, I anticipated. And uh, I thought that the woman, thankfully on the day, I got a nice woman who was testing me, so she flagged it, and uh, I passed somehow. So.